Here we have an example of the Blackbird system running a mission from 120 MHz to 160 MHz. In this particular case, the frequency that I am displaying is the mission, so that is 120 MHz to 160 MHz, and I'm displaying from now to one minute ago, this being the now line, and this being data from one minute ago. Um, across the display, you can see a number of white boxes. These, these white boxes represent the signal detections, so as I move my cursor over these signal detections, you can see I detected a signal came on at um, 8.07 and that it was 157.7 megahertz. The bandwidth of that signal is 12.5. Uh, the amplitude is minus uh, 105. So you can see the metadata is automatically stored for all signals. As I move my cursor across, you can see each one of these signals has uh, associated uh, metadata. So this, for this particular example here, I'm going to take a signal that just came on and went off a short while ago. This is in the air traffic control band, so I believe this is going to be uh, an AM modulated signal. So in order to see whether that's true or not, I'm going to zoom in on this signal, uh, zoom back out again, and I can actually see there are two uh, quick transmissions um, for the same frequency. Um, it actually looks like the uh, bandwidth on both these signals is the same, but this one's been detected as a little bit wider because there was uh, some, uh, looks like, keying noise on the uh, transmitter but you can see that the system is determined when the signal came on, when the signal came off, and it's measured what the, uh, what the bandwidth is. You'll notice that when I zoomed in, uh, the signal that I see on the display, the list that I have below uh, mirrors uh, what is uh, displayed on the, the window above. If I actually want to uh, an analyze uh, these signals, I have to take the recording from the IQ storage unit, and I have to bring it over to a format that I can uh, uh, analyze. So I bring the IQ data back to my workstation, and I'll, actually I'll do this for both of these signals here, so I'll start this one also. In the meantime, while that one's downloading, uh, I'm going to send this one to my snapshot audio player, and I'm going to go ahead and click play. Hey, 634, can I from center 134.55 today? Hey, 634, can I from center 134.55 today? And you'll notice that after I've recalled the data back, um, I can retune, retune the signal, uh, and I can also change the, uh, the, the bandwidth that uh, the snapshot player is using. Um, if I now go to the other signal that we brought back, uh, send to snapshot audio player, uh, then I can listen to this signal also. 3455 at 634. 3455 at 634. 3455 at 634. 